Welcome. This is the midweek devotional for First Presbyterian Church, Marietta. My name is Joe Bryce, and I'm one of the pastors. Now, let us hear what God is saying to us today from Psalm 80. Give ear, O shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who are enthroned upon the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim and Benjamin and Manasseh, stir up your might and come to save us. Restore us, O God, let your face shine that we may be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry with your people's prayers? You have fed them with the bread of tears and given them tears to drink in full measure. You have made us the scorn of our neighbors. Our enemies laugh among themselves. Restore us, O God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. You cleared the ground for it. It took deep root and filled the land. The mountains were covered with its shade, the mighty cedars with its branches. It sent out its branches to the sea and its roots to the river. Why then have you broken down its walls so that all who pass along the way pluck its fruit? The boar from the forest ravages it and all that move in the field feed on it. Turn again, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven and see. Have regard for this vine, the stock that your right hand planted. They have burned it with fire. They have cut it down. May they perish at the rebuke of your countenance. But let your hand be upon the one at your right hand, the one whom you've made strong for yourself then we will never turn back from you. Give us life, and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Let your face shine, that we may be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, if you're viewing this on Wednesday, Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and this coming Sunday is the first Sunday of Advent. You know what all this means. The holidays are coming. <clears throat> there's turkey and football. There's jolly old Santa, Christmas cookies, lights, songs, and carols. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Oh, and the joy of shopping. Oh, over the past several months, I've learned how to shop from home, from my phone, in my chair, no traffic, just here in my sweats. It's just wonderful. Every day is like Christmas morning and you don't even have to put up a tree. Instead of peeking around the corner to the living room to see what's there, Every Chris, on Christmas morning, every day, we can just look out on the porch, and there it is. It's magic. Oh, the joyful season, it's here. Oh, I just, I can't help myself. I got a, I got a song ready. Everybody join with me. <clears throat> Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring. Snowing and blowing up bushels of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Everybody, yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> it is just so much fun at Christmas, at holidays. Psalm 80 says, not so fast with all that giddy stuff. Psalm 80, you see, is probably a more appropriate song for this year 2020. 
It makes more sense than Jingle Bell Rock. This song comes from a desperate people in a desperate time. Ex Israel was exiled, taken from their homeland, which, by the way, was also where God lived. They had little to no experience with a God who traveled and moved and who could go with them. God was back there. Back there in the temple, as a matter of fact. The temple which also has been destroyed. God forsaken. As a consequence of their sin. So three times in the psalm, there's a plea that cries out, getting more desperate each time. Restore us, O God. Let your face shine that we may be saved. Restore us, O God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. Let your face shine. The people were in darkness, desperate for the light. <clears throat> for there was no light of hope. They are gloomy and disheartened. The prospects of the future are, are not favorable. There doesn't seem to be any way out of their dilemma. Where is God's shining face? Hiding in the darkness. Perhaps God is the source of that darkness, they may have thought. Such darkness of sin. Here what they are saying is so many words from verses 4 to 6 and 12 to 13. You seem tired of listening to us, God. How long will you be angry with our prayers? Instead of the bread of heaven, we have nothing but the bread of tears. Our cup overflows, but only with tears. We've lost our place in the world. You make us look ridiculous to our friends and our enemies smirk and make fun of us every day. Why don't you protect us anymore? People come by and just take whatever they want. It's like being ravaged by a herd of rooting hogs. We're being eaten away crumb by crumb. We don't even realize it until we look up to see how little is left. These people are in a state, dark and desperate and God forsaken. This should be ringing some bells for a people who are living in this dark year of 2020. A year that finds a desperate world, record storms and fires. The citizens of our own great nation misbehaving endangering what our history has held important and even sacred. And oh, uh, depending on which political leader you support and which one you believe has really won the election, there is or there is not a, a pandemic that may or may not have taken the lives of a quarter of a million Americans and will go on for months and months before it gets better. All that depends on what you choose to believe. Friend, Santa cannot happy us up out of this. Neither can any president. Neither can any vaccine. Restore us, O oh God. Let your face shine that we may be saved. Restore us, O oh God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. However dark the Lord of hosts seems to be, there is still a God we can cry out to. However dark and desperate a time we're living in, there is a way out. The Hebrew word for restore can also be understood, as in verse 14, as turn. 
same word for restore and turn. Turning is always possible for God. And with God's help, turning is possible for us. So let this be our first prayer of Advent. Let us pray. Turn to us, O Lord God of hosts. Let your face shine that we may be saved. Then we will never turn back from you. Give us life and we will call on your name. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. This has been a ministry of First Presbyterian Church of Marietta, Georgia. Join us as together we change lives with faith, hope, and love. For more information, go to fpcmarietta.org. Thank you and have a blessed day.